Does it matter what a guy's physique is like? Like if they're tall and skinny, no. Okay. Anything else? Maybe not short. Okay. But no, but like what's fat? If you're lazy and fat. If you're like fat but like motivated, I appreciate that. But if you're lazy and don't want to do anything out yet. Dad bod versus fit bod. Which one are you going for? Fit bod. Why? No, it's sporty, isn't it? Like <laughs> it's on a mission. Hard to get drunk. Yeah. Dad bod. You like a dad bod? Yeah, yeah, I prefer the lifestyle. It's, it's more chilled out. You, you just like that? Yeah, I mean. Wait, no, wait, no, I want to no. take my answer back now. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Uh, fit bods now, right? How tall are you, like? 5'1", uh, maybe? I'm 5'8". Oh, you're 5'8", yeah, sorry. Uh, How tall are you, then? I'm going to make you 5'4". Uh, I'm 5'9". I'm 5'9". Like I'm, I'm you're not 5'9", you're at least 5'10". 5'9". I'm 5'8". And a half. <laughs> So I've got <laughs> Have you got a hiccups? Oh my god. Do you like a guy who's really big and muscly or like a skinnier guy? Sorry, yeah. did you say a big neck? Yeah, because if they've got a big neck, then you know that they're going to be big. Not, okay. not, not, I'm not being inappropriate. I'm 5'6". There's I'm, I'm, no I'm way you're 5'6". How tall am I? 5'5 five, five and a half. He's, um, he's making me short and I really am. This is really bad. Are you a model? <laughs> no. No. I, I, I was going to say maybe you're a hand model. Okay, bye. <laughs> Does size matter? Yes. <laughs> Girl comes first, guy comes after. Welcome back to Life of Clive, guys. My name is Clive Bunkworth. We are in Chinatown, Soho. What are we doing tonight, Dan? We are asking strangers some things. Yeah, we're asking them some very interesting questions. So, does a man's physical, muscular presence, musculoskeletal presence matter? Or... Is a dad bod um, in for 2021, 22? What do you think? I think that girls will love the skinny bod. It really doesn't matter what we think. What matters is what the women think. So let's find out. Enjoy. Um, yeah, let's go get some food. You know, we, we, uh, I don't think we've ever vlogged in a Brazilian restaurant, but we love to eat in a Brazilian restaurant. Yeah. Um, you know, there's something about just having copious amounts of meat as a it makes man. Makes you feel nourished. <laughs> yeah. So it makes you feel nourished, especially when you have like superior muscle mass like we do. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Well, when you are a territorial alpha ma male with excessive amounts of muscle mass compared to the average person, yeah. you do tend to uh, yearn and crave copious amounts, excessive amounts of meat. Um, so something satiating about meat, fat and carbs, all in one go, big hit. I reckon we're going to do, well, I know I'm going to do like 2,250 calories today. What about you, man? I don't know, as many as I can stomach. Really? Is that what you're doing? You're just going to go and go as hard as well, you possibly can? I've got 140 grams of protein last week today. 140? Oh, really? That's a lot. Of oh, you can smash that easy. You'd be amazed at like a few slices of steak, what that'll do. That'll be like 70. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll easily do 120. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while is. I keep seeing the leaders doing this. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me scoop. Nobody here but me and you. Yeah guys, so this is this is the restaurant, it's called the Chow. I definitely recommend coming here. So if again if you like meat then this is like the perfect solution for you. Um, it's you get so much and it's not that expensive. Especially for like central London. Yeah, super cheap. And like the amount of meat they'll just bring out to you until you can't move. Yeah. Um, I know it's bad, but they don't give a if you waste it as well. They have like a massive um, buffet selection, so it's really good. But we're just gonna eat here till we can't move, then we're gonna go and approach some more women out in the street. Back out, not Yeah, exactly, yeah. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while is. I can see the leaders. Welcome back to Life of Clive. Today I'm joined by the lovely. Right. Clive and Steph. Does it matter if a guy's not like super stacked? Is a dad bod acceptable if he's very social? And I love a dad bod. No, yeah. I don't love a dad bod. I don't. 
I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you What do you like about that? Board? I love a dad bod. I just like confidence. Okay, if they can have a dad bod and they can carry it, yeah. it's fine. But like, if you're a dad bod and you're insecure, I'm like, no way. Yeah, for sure. I feel there's like nothing more disappointed than a guy who's like really stacked, but he's got like no game or no personality. A bit of confidence. There's more to life than like a, a bod. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't like a dad bod. You know, like a dad bod, if they got stomach, you can like sleep on it. You can put your head on top. Honestly, it really doesn't There's bother like, me. It's wrong with it, but I wouldn't like that on my tie. <laughs> so where are you going to put your head at night? Not the dad board. <laughs> is it important for a guy to have really big muscles, or is it more important for him to have a personality? Uh, personality goes a long way. I think it's more important. However, I've always wanted someone to feel like I, he can protect me in a way. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So you like to be able to snuggle on his shoulder? Yeah, he needs to be taller than me, definitely. But it's not like a deal breaker if everything else was perfect. So if a guy is like this tall, and he has like a really big belly, and when you're sleepy at night, you can put you can put your head you can put your head on his belly. Would that be a good idea? I don't think so because we wouldn't match from a lifestyle perspective. Because yeah. I go gym five times I a week, mean, so he needs to go gym as well. Yeah. Personality goes a long way, yeah. but he needs to share the same interests with me, like going gym and stuff. So. Okay, so I, I, I never used to go to the gym. I used to be about uh, 25 kilo heavier before, mm -hmm. and I used to get more girls than, uh, than I do now. What do you think about that? As long as your mindset is to try and improve, and let's say if I was single, you would tell me that you're going to try and work on your body, or yeah. your passion is to go gym and make it work, and your diet is not just having... You know, <laughs> five guys. But what I'm saying time. is, like, I had five guys every day. I was very fat. I was doing better than now. Yeah, but it's not about getting girls. It's about feeling good about yourself. I'm sure you are mentally more happy now, right? No, it was everything was better in my life then. Okay, that's. I was like this. I had my face like this. If that's mentally making you happy, I respect that. But I get fat again? Do you think? If, if that that's what makes you happy and you don't harm anyone, why not? Okay. But I personally wouldn't date someone like that. Okay. So what should I eat? I get more fat again. More fat. Yeah. What should I eat? <laughs> I'm Chicken joking. You believe. The question as well. Chicken and chips. You like chicken and chips? Is, no. that, your, is that your cheat meal? No, I, I'd never go there. Does it matter how big a guy is physically? There is no big difference. The woman needs to feel the power of the head power of the after mind. she can give you the opinion about the all the other. There's a lot of guys out there that are really big, but they are very small in the mind, right? Yeah, that's that's true. Some women, I can feel even can feel disgust of the size. Yeah, yeah. Like it's too big. <laughs> we are back in Soho for Life of Clive. I'm joined by Amelia, Daniel, Tia. Doesn't matter how muscular a guy is, like what their physique looks like. No, well, no way. Not at all. So they could be really skinny, like have a dad bod. Yeah, it all matters about like how you move, like your style, you know what I mean? how you dress. You can't have dirty fingernails, that's all no. So they could have the perfect body, but then dirty fingernails and it's gone. Yeah, no, not attracted to muscular guys. Okay. Do you like fat guys or skinny guys? I don't have a preference, but if you show me abs, it doesn't swing me. Do you know what I mean? It's okay. not like, oh, I love it more. Nah. What about like a pot belly? Does that swing you? Yeah, yum. If you're cool, you're cool in it, like. Okay, so you're both only about the personality. Yeah. Is there a limit to that? What if they're like, I don't know, four foot eleven and a bit podgy? Yeah, no. We don't need four foot. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you talking about physique. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the height. Yeah, that matters. So the body matters in terms of the height. And what if they're like? So what if they're like super skinny? You're like, really primed for this answer. I'm just intrigued. Because really because you should. <laughs> Does it matter what a guy's physique is like? No, because there's like many like different types of like, a good body, but there's... So if they're like tall and skinny, short and fat. No, I am actually quite picky. Okay. But like, if they're tall and skinny, no. Okay. Anything else? Maybe not short. Okay. But no, but like what's fat? What do you I class don't know, as just fat? Like, a bit of a dad board, like a bit of podgy. Yeah, body. like a bit of podge, that's all right. Okay, a bit of podge is alright. Yeah. But they can't let themselves go too much. I think there's a level of like unhealthiness. Okay. Do you want to sound like a cool right? <laughs> 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 if they look alright in a big coat, then you can probably like they're probably a big right. guy. Yeah. What I mean is like if they if they look alright when they've got clothes on, then they'll probably be alright, right? Yeah, but, but some people like they wouldn't be ripped if they took their shirt off, but they look Yeah, like, like they look they look big with like they look like muscly with yeah. clothes on, but when you take it off it's like oh dad board. Yeah. No, I don't think it matters. So that's alright. I think like no. That's yeah. alright. Okay. No, they've got good personality. I like personality over looks. Is there anything with looks that can like turn you off at all? If you're lazy and fat, if you're like fat but like motivated, I appreciate that but if you're lazy and don't want to do anything about it okay right does it matter how like muscular a guy is what their physique is like no not at all okay i don't think so no so you could take any kind of physique like tall skinny short yeah. and podgy and it doesn't matter yeah that's, I don't cool. think that's, so. that's very open-minded that's nice yeah i feel like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah so personality trumps all a hundred percent yeah okay. 
Yeah. Is there like an ideal physique that you ha would have in mind for a guy? I wouldn't want to be too skinny, but like... So a little bit of meat about them? Yeah, a little bit of meat, but like personality in there, yeah. Yeah, like not too skinny, but if he was skinny, I wouldn't mind. Like as long as he's nice, it's fine. Oh. It's all good. So you've got like an ideal thing, but you'd be willing to compromise if they had the right person? Yeah. Dad bod versus fit bod. Which one are you going for? Fit bod. Why? No, It's sporty, isn't it? Like... <laughs> you do look very sporty, you're like very tall. Like, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Very you get like... Uh, tennis player vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. You got, you got the big serve, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's ace. That's ace. That's ace. How about you? Fit bod, yeah. Fit bod, yeah. Do you know what? Most girls have been saying they're like a dad bod because they like to put their head on someone's stomach at night and like yeah, for a sleep. Yeah, that's really cuddle, yeah. You can do that yeah. with abs. Can you? Yeah. yeah. I guess if they're like big enough and they're like sticking out. How about you? I would have used to say football, but no, I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> I don't care. As, as long as they've got the confidence and yeah, uh, yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, all of that. How about you? Um, fit bod, I'd <laughs> say. I'm going to deliver one for you tonight. It's your birthday. Is that what we're out yeah. looking for? No. <laughs> Not to get drunk. Yeah. Dad bod. You like a dad bod? Yeah, yeah, I prefer the lifestyle. It's, it's more chilled out. Do you, do you just like that? Yeah, I mean. You're, I mean, you wouldn't say no. I, I, no. <laughs> That's actually another reason why a lot of people say like dad bods, because it reminds them of their dad, they feel like comforted, right? Wait, yeah. I want to take my answer back now. You said really? that. Okay, yeah. Uh, good bods now, right? Everything. <laughs> is it important how quote unquote buff a guy is, or is it okay and acceptable oh, if he has a dad bod, but he's got a great personality? I don't think it is, you know. In what direction? I don't think it's a dad bod is bad at all. I mean, they're more cuddly. More cuddly. <laughs> Are we all in agreement here? You like a dad bod as well? Absolutely. I think men need to get a lot more confident. Dad bod or fit bod? Dad bod. Dad bod, yeah. yeah. Dad bod. You know, we get that a lot. Shall I tell you what? I feel like with a fit bod, they're more committed to the bod than yeah. they are to you. Yeah, yeah. exactly that. I mean, I don't like when someone is so obsessed with the gym. Like, that's their idol, that's their life. Like, I feel like if you want to have a good body, become a builder. Amen. Do something like that. <laughs> Do something scaffolder. practical. Yeah. Don't make the gym. So alive. the vanity side of it's quite off putting. Yeah, amen. Very, yeah. very off putting. Yeah. Very off putting. So it's more about what the body represents rather than what it actually is. It's, it's got like really deep. <laughs> yeah. really deep. deep. Well, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> well, well, I start crying. No, I start crying. I'm oh, like, do I don't know. Yeah. No, a dad bod, 100%. Dad bod. For what it represents. Yeah. Yeah. Also, there's another practical benefit. So when you're snuggling up to them, watching Netflix, like Amen. watching Squid Games. It's survival instinct. It's like you can rest that head on, on the summer. Yeah, exactly. It's and then they kind of remind you of your dad. It's like, it's very comforting. <laughs> Um, uh, no, oh, really? no daddy issues here. No daddy issues here. No, no daddy issues here. No daddy issues God forbid. God forbid any daddy. I like it. I love you guys. You know that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, literally. Man, I'm just, I'm digging your whole style. Thank you so much. So cool. She's very cool. Thank you. Should you. Outfit. Yeah, but let, let's pan this, this outfit. You should pan the outfit. Are these slippers? <laughs> yeah, they're slipper shoes. Wow. I genuinely, like, you've just got to walk around in slipper shoes and it changes your world. Does it? I'd never wear normal Is that the shoes. real reason you're so relaxed today? Yeah, that's the real reason. It's the slipper shoes. Like, that's yeah. why I'm 24-7 relaxed. It's because of slipper shoes. Can you testify to this? Oh, it... oh, yeah, look, Barry's an inspiration. What's your She's excuse? Relaxed. The shoes are made of relaxed. What's your excuse for being so chill? What's my excuse? God. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. God. Okay, fair enough. God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Cool. A dad bod would not bother me as long as he had confidence to carry on. Yeah, so you like a confident guy, right? Yeah, confidence is good. Yeah. Do you like a dominant guy? Yeah. Like super dominant, like he just looks at you and straight away you're just like, yeah. Uh, or do you yeah. like to do you like to kick I feel like you you like to kick a guy around uh, a little bit. We're not like but if it came to it, not hundred percent. You don't want like total and complete domination. 60-40, 60-40. 60-40 in their favour. Yeah, so they're like... you 60? I feel like I'm 60. I feel like you're 30. I feel like I'm 70. I feel like, I feel like you're 70. 90. I, I feel like she's 90. You have a very dominant look about it. Thanks. Yeah. I take that as a compliment. I, I, I would, I would, I would honestly. You're 90% dominant. I don't know. No, she's, she's 90%, 90% no. Yeah. I think... Sim. When I, when, I, when, I look, <laughs> when I look at you, I see myself. You're quite a dominant character. I feel we'd be good mates. Thank you. Yeah. You guys are in a really good mood, I must say. What's going on tonight? Um, we're going around to all the hotels. Basically, we're doing a fundraiser 
for children with who are over six foot. For they children who are over six foot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's interesting you should say that because my question is, is does height matter in a guy? No. No? It's all about personality. You could be five foot one. How about you? It's honestly dependent on the situation. So like dependent on whether he's five foot two or, or not? Okay, he can be five two with a bangy personality yeah. and it's okay. What if, he's, what if he's like 4'11", he's got, he ticks all the boxes, your mum loves him, you love him, he's gorgeous. Yeah, but if he's 4'11", he doesn't tick all the boxes, does he? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. How tall are you, like 5'1", uh, maybe? I'm 5'8". Oh, you're 5'8", yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, what? What you then? Make you five I, I'm 5'9". I'm 5'9". Like Wait, you're not 5'9", you're at least 5'10". 5'9". I'm 5'8". And a half. <laughs> So I've got <laughs> Have you got a hiccups? Oh my god. Do you like a big muscly guy or a skinny guy? I think skinny guy. Skinny really? guy, yeah. Skinny guy for me. Depends how muscly we're talking. <laughs> okay. So if they've got like a little bit of meat, it's alright, but if they're a big bodybuilder, it's yeah. not. Yeah. 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 Okay. Definitely not. Yeah, not but not not a bodybuilder, there's no way. Okay, right. Yeah. Well. Do you like a guy who's really big and muscly or like a skinnier guy? I'm not gonna lie, right? If he's like bulked up, like a bit too much like bodybuilder, I think, oh God, do you know what I mean? Okay. And if he's a little bit skinny, I don't really care. What do you think, Sia? I obviously like, you know, a bit of a bulked up man, they're well all right, but yeah, like, as long as they've got big shoulders, yeah, like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really mind, to be fair, as long okay. as they're like nice. Sorry, you know? did you say a big neck? Yeah, because if they've got a big neck, then you know that they're going to be big. Not, okay. not, not, I'm not being inappropriate. Uh, usually people say big feet relates to like big... No, but I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm saying big neck it means they're going to be bulked up. Okay, which is what you like. So you do like a bulked up guy? Yeah, but not like proper abs and all that. Uh -huh. no, no, bodybuilder. No, no, no. uh -huh. They're on loads of steroids like and they're like... Gym shagger, just like kind yeah. of like, you know, take care of themselves. But like, I don't really care to be fair. As long as they're like... Nice, you know. Okay. What about if you've got like really tall, skinny guy, or like a shorter, stockier guy? Tall and skinny. What if there's what if the stocky guy still a little bit taller than you, and they're like st they've got a big neck and they've got big, you know, things going down below, but they're like the other guy's really tall and skinny. Mm, shorter and bigger. Tall and skinny, because I'm quite tall, so tall and skinny, probably. Okay. What is it about tall guys that you like? Just that they're taller than me, because I'm quite tall. So. Minimum height is. 5'11 for me, yeah, 5'11. Yeah. Is yeah. there like a minimum neck How circumference you for you? Because I don't know height. I'm 5'7. Five, five You're lying, so what am I 5'3 then? I'm oh, uh, so I'm 6 foot. You're okay. minimum. Okay. You're bare minimum. I'm not is my lie. neck big enough? Yeah, your neck's big enough. It's allowable, yeah. It's allowable. Yeah, it's sort of got to be the same width of the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not yeah. too big or too thin, do you know what I mean? Okay. If yeah. you've got a thin <laughs> neck. Does height matter? I'm five like eight and No way, I'm five six. There's no way you're five. five eight. I'm five six. And There's I'm I'm, I'm no way you're five six. How tall am I? Five five and a half. Oh, he's um, he's making me short and I really am. This is really bad. Anyway, no no not really. I'm six two. I'm just joking. Okay, yeah. I'm just joking. I'm okay, joking. Okay. I'm joking. Uh, I, lo I love yes, you. Yes, really. yes, height matters. Height matters. Height matters. matters, okay. So what's the minimum height for you? Six foot. Six foot? Yeah. So you won't go any lower than that? No, I would if I like, yeah. you know, felt. So, a... question for you: What is the reason, like, behind that? Why is it that you need a guy to be like six foot and plus? Does it feel a bit weird if you're walking around with a guy who's like shorter than you and you're dragging him along the street? I think it's one of those things where I just want my kids to be tall, so it's kind of just. It's you're in it for genetic reasons. Genetic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? If if I loved him and all that, it's fine. I'll accept. Genetics included, I would like a tall guy with tall kids who, you know, the, I'm giving them the opportunity opportunity to become models right okay basically you're trying to start a family of basketball players models and models and models okay fair enough are you a model no no I, I, I was gonna say maybe you're a hand model okay bye <laughs> does size matter yes <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Size does not matter as much as knowing who to please first. So if he's got his priorities straight priorities and he's, straight. he focuses on you first. Focuses on me. And then worries about himself after. Later. Girl comes first, guy comes after. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> ha. 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 We'll leave it there, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure you drop your comments down below. Let us know what you want to see next. Are you starting a new channel? Look out for that. Uh, if you need anyone to assist you with speaking to members of the same opposite or genderqueer type situation, 
please Just reach out. Send us a little DM and we'll yeah. we'll give you a hand. Follow Dan Social when it comes out. Yeah, and life dot of Clive on Instagram. Send me a DM if you need to be assisted in that department. We are going to Mexico as well, so anyone in Mexico needs any help. Reach out. Uh, I don't know what else to say apart from it's been emotional. It has been emotional as always. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out a while. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Sexual? Sexual. Spiritual? Yes. As always. It's been amazing. Peace. <laughs>